usalama katika kaunti hiyo ya Samburu. Viongozi wa wanafunzi wa vyuo vikuu kutoka kaunti hiyo aidha wananalimikia shule tisa kusalia kufungwa na zaidi ya mifugo elfu nne kuibwa katika majuma mawili yaliyopita. Wakazi wamesalia wakimbizi wa ndani kwa ndani baada ya kuhama makwao. We have been robbed our land. I would like to state that in a span of two weeks, 17 civilians, including area senior chiefs, have been killed. Four security, four security officers injured in just one week, and 4,500 families displaced from their homes in Samburu County as banditry and cattle rustling attack continues. Nine primary schools have been shut down completely after teachers and pupils fled for their dear life and hundreds of livestock stolen even after the Kenya Kwanza regime launched a fraudulent security operation two weeks ago involving the military purported to flush out attackers. We are requesting the government that it is important to prioritize the safety and the security of the people in Samburu and to provide support to those who have been affected, affected by violence. Atujawai kuona ili mefanyika kwa sasa. Iyo mambo ya ku... Jambasi ya ijakatika mbaga leo. Watu wamehama kuhama. Wameamia maototo ma, ma yao. Wameamia kijiji singine. Ata sahi mkitaka mutoke kama watu wa media. Sababu hile mambo ya, ya Kenya hii, ukiongea kila mtu anuona kama ni fitina. Sasa hijulika ni ukweli, ala uongo. Awadhali hata watoke, hata hiyo presiden na toke, haenda angalia so kibijisi. Hmm. Na bila shaka ni tarifa ambayo bila uh, shaka kama taifa, wa, wa Kenya wanastahili kuwa wanapewa tarifa za kila baada. Kweli. Kuhusiana na operation ambayo imekuwa ikiendelea. Unakumbuka kuna watu walihamishwa makwao, hatujui mm -hmm. hatima yao iko vipi. Mm -hmm. Kweli. Tusije tukawasahau mm -hmm. ni hali wanapitia hali mm -hmm. ngumu sasa. Tukio bado katika maeneo hayo, familia miamoja hamsini zilizo lazimika kuhama makwao kutokana na ukosefu wa usalama Samburu zimepewa misaada ya mbegu na ardhi ya kupanda um, mbegu hizo kwenye ekari moja ya ardhi ilikuwa na chakula.